I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called That Which Gave Chase. Now, you are a sled dog musher that has been hired by a scientist, and he asked you to transport him from point A to point Z, but some weird stuff happens along the way. We're about to figure out what those weird things are. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! We have this guy staring at me, and there is my dog sled, and those are my sled dogs. We should keep moving. Okay. I can pet the dogs. Yeah, we can pet each and every single dog. If you don't want to see me do that, you might as well skip ahead because I am petting the holy ghost out of these dogs. Everybody's getting some good pets. Can I pet the person too? Would you like a pet too? Complimentary pet. No? Alright, let me mount this bad boy. Lift anchor to move. Okay, and then the dogs are now sled dogging now. Forgive my impatience. Don't worry, man. Eyes on the freaking road! I have placed a lot of trust in you. Hold on! I'm trying to read the subtitles and drive at the same time. Wish I didn't have to, but my hand is forced. You're looking at me and it's distracting me, bro. Time will tell if you're the right person for the job. I'm the right person for the job. Why do you have sunglasses on at night? Actually, wait. It's because of the snow, right? That's what it is. Do I have them too? It was a fortunate thing for both of us that I found you when I did. Can you stop talking? I can tell you are determined. Willing to brave the cold when few others would. I'm trying to, but my dogs are mad at me right now. My dogs are barking. Your efforts will not go unnoticed. I don't like the way this person keeps looking back at it. Like, can you face forward? Eyes on the road, please. Mira, face forward. Okay. Never look back. Looking back is whack. And I really want to get into the mood of this, everybody. Because if you didn't know, one of my favorite gaming franchises of all time is The Thing. I like this type of, like, isolated snow setting because of that game. And this guy kind of looks like one of the characters in the game. He kind of looks like Blake, the main guy you play as. I think much will come of this. This guy is going to be a bad guy. The way you... Oh, is he smiling? Is it... It is time for me to return. To finish the work I have started. Alright, no problem. This is my work right here. If you would like to tip me, 20% will do. Just enjoy the ride, okay? This is uber sledding right now. I have no idea what I'm saying right now. Uber sledding sounded cool in my mind. But once I said it out loud, that was a clown school type of joke. But here we go, everybody. That which gave... What? Have I been sledding this long? Yo, I think I zoned out. Keep steady. I'm trying. Oh, tilt the sled. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. This shit's so curvy. Hold on. This mountain got a BBL. It's so freaking bubbly. Just hold on. Hold on. I got this. Okay, dogs. My dogs. These are the best dogs in the world, by the way. They deserve more pets once I get off this thing. Once I get off my sled. I wonder how you become a dog sled musher. Like, I wonder if you actually... Ooh, what? I'm just listening to my thoughts, okay? Dude keeps looking back at me. It's so freaking scary. Oh, my goodness. Whoops. My bad. Sorry, dogs. Everybody okay? What do I pay you for? I don't know. You tell me. Let me pet these dogs. Who's your good dog? Who's your really good dog? All oh, the way they smile when they get petted. Aw, that's the cutest. All right, I'm sorry about that, buddy. Please do not pull out that gun. Do not pull out that rifle. Let's mount this. Sit back down, please. And let's get started. All right. That was my bad, by the way. I need to really be in control of my thoughts and my emotions. Because there's a lot of power that comes with this dog sled mushing thing. You really have to, like, balance your own weight. And you have to have, like, really good mental and physical connection. That doesn't make any sense. And I'm probably just bullshitting the hell out of this. But I believe it. And at least I'm safe inside my mind, you know? I just don't want this guy to look back at me. With those pearly yellows. I really don't want him to give me that look. Because he's going to make me act up. What is that noise? The cabin should be close. Thanks, man. You know I can hear you even if you talk forward, right? If they're still here, we'll meet them soon. Who's they? Are they going to kill me? Are they going to be cannibals? Lately, I've been hung up on the fact that people are ass-eating cannibals. What is that? Hold on. I think that's the cabin right there. Right? That looks like a cabin. It's gotta be. That's the cabiniest cabin I've ever seen. And it's in the middle of nowhere. Like, who built that? But I get it. Because there's nothing around here, so you might as well have something for shelter, right? Can the dogs come too? Interact with the anchor to stop or dismount. Okay. So, let me put that down. And let's get out of here. Get me off. Oh, we can jump with the sled? 
Oh, that's cool. Alright, let's go inside. Hand me your lantern. Where's my lantern? Here. Okay, here's the lantern. Where are you going? Okay, tough guy. You're gonna go in first? What? What the heck? Okay. That's kind of cool. Wait, where are the dogs at? Excuse me, sir? Where are those four cute little dogs at? Hello? Not much further. He better be taking me to the dogs. Or else we riot everybody. Because if anything happens to those dogs, I'm immediately blaming this guy. I'm karate kicking this dude in the chin. Remember that this is just the first step. Are you taking me to a very scary place? Where's my lantern? All your efforts up to this point will be matched twofold or worse. I don't want to know what happens if it's worse. This is always the true test. Whoa. When I have failed again and again. What is that? Bro, that looked like one of those Cheeto asteroid chips. Have you guys ever had those? Flaming hot asteroids. This game makes no sense so far. But I'm trying my best to get the cogs turning right now. Oh, I'm back. Thank you for that. Rocket launcher. Cool. Oh, yeah. Point that somewhere else. Sorry. I got excited. Oh, look. It's a deer. Oh, the, the, the deer. Oh! Very well. Sorry, I got hungry. You may be some use after all. Bro, I'm the one controlling the dog sledding. What are you talking shit for? Okay, let me put that lantern away because I'm pretty sure I don't have a lot of lantern fuel. And let's skin this bad boy. What is that? Oh, okay, that's my kill, by the way. Almost ruined. You know what? I don't like your attitude, buddy. Their behavior remains strange to me. Though I understand it much better now. Whoa. Okay. I'm confused. It keeps shifting from day to night, night to day. Dogs, no dogs. Gun, no gun. Deal, no deal. Shift to run. From who? From who? Por qué? Why am I running? Yo. This running is gonna be accompanied by some high notes in a second. Hey! Whoever's out here, I have a rifle. I one shot at a deer. Like I'm almost on my kill streak. Don't even get me started, bro. Oh. Nice. Nicey. Bop! Sorry. Um, I'll take that. Thank you. Oh, I got some shrooms. Yeah, I do. Okay. What am I gonna do with that? Oh, whoops. No. I want that shroom, please. <laughs> ah! Oh. <gasps> oh! Bitch! <clears throat> Stop! Bop! <clears throat> okay. Let's freaking go. This gun's free 99. You can get it anytime you want. 24-7 access. I think those words made them really shake in their hooves. That's what they're called, right? Hooves? Oh, no. Is that my man's? Oh, yeah. Hey. What's that? The path splits. Oh, you want me to go that direction? We built these to serve as guideposts. You'll learn not to place much trust in your senses here. I don't trust anything right now. Especially you. I'm gonna get back on the thing, okay? But I'm gonna pet these guys. Yeah. Everybody get your pet. They're so good. They're so good and fluffy. Okay, let's go, dude. I do that as a tactic to make them run faster. Don't get it twisted. It's not like I have a soft spot or anything. I'm as hard and as cold as they come, okay? What is that? More deer? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me take this seriously, everybody. Actually, for the most part, I am taking it seriously. I'm just petting these dogs a little too hard. If we run into a bear, though, that's going to be a big problem because bears, they're kings of the woods. They're the, the monsters in these here parts because they're hungry. They'll eat anything. And these guys, I think that they're just going to leave me alone. <gasps> oh. oh, no, you're kind of just chilling. My bad. I thought you were hurt. The sign will show us the way. Where's the sign? Oh, that sign? Okay, hold on. Let me slow down. Let me use the anchor. Uh, throw it down. How do you throw this thing down? There you go. And then let me get out. And let's see. It says, it must be this way. Got it. Oh, that way? Okay. Out on the great sea ice with no landmarks to guide us. Hearts unyielding in the face of endless struggle. I knew the way would reveal itself to us eventually. 
This dude sounds like an 11th grader's diary or something. Get your ass back on this sled. So we need to go that way, right? Let's open this up. And let's go. Mush! Mush! That's what you say, right? To get the dogs to run. Mush, doggies! Mush! And look at these deer just chilling. And then somebody in the comments is going to be like, Jay, how could you? That's clearly an elk. How do you not know your animals, Jay? You're so dumb. We should examine the signpost. Okay, man, stop pointing. You know, that's really rude, right? That's extremely rude. Well, it depends where you live. I, out in the middle of buttfuck nowhere like this is, I'm pretty sure that it's not going to be much of a big deal, right? But let's go see what this signpost says. This way. That way? Wait, didn't we just come from that way? Why are you pointing to a way that we just came from? I think we should go in this direction. Okay. Whatever. I feel like I'm going back where I came from. But you know what? You're the expert, right? You're the scientist. You're the one with a master's degree. I'm just the Antarctic lift driver. Actually, I have no idea where this is. This could be like Canada or something. I have no clue. Should I go left, right, straight? The sign will show us the way. Where's the sign? What sign? Oh, you're talking about that sign? Okay, hold on. I swear we just came back from this way, didn't we? All right, let's check the sign out. Let's see what it says. Through here. Oh, I get it. Do you see? I do see. There's no need to worry. So basically, we did like a giant U-turn or something. Oh, God, I'm so sorry for that. We persevere. We are rewarded. Please don't give me one star on this. This is the first time this ever happened on any of my rides. But please get on, and I will make sure that you get to your destination with just a few bumps and bruises along the way. That's the whole fun in it, right? It's like a Disneyland ride. You wait a long time to get to your de- Oh, shit. Okay, okay, let me stop talking. Let me stop talking. Oh, come on, dogs! You're making me look bad. Hold on, I see something. I see something in the distance. Go, dogs. Go. And I will give you endless pets once you get there, I promise. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's already getting, like, really blizzardy right now. Well, let me put this down. Let's put this right here. And this is where we go, right? Wait. <laughs> what? Whoa! Here. Your lantern. Thanks. Oh, shit. That bitch looked like a skeleton. We should continue. This is no place for rest. Is this the cabin that was already under the snow? Where do I go? Why do you look like that? Hold on, why are you following me like that, bro? Does that mean the dogs are dead? Oh, they're right there! My dogs! Okay. Oh, nice. So we have to keep going. Alright. I am gonna keep dog sledding even in the darkness. I don't even know if this is legal. But I'm not liable if we crash into anything at this point, okay? Because my hours of operation are from like 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And after that, I need my eight hours of sleep or I'm going to be very cranky. I'm going to be hangry, actually, because I need to eat. You've gotten this far, Musher. My name is Jay, but whatever. Whatever floats your boat. When I first came through here, I understood so very little. Not unlike you. Are you looking at me right now? Because I can't tell. Perhaps it was vain ambition that first led me to go further than any of my companions deemed responsible. That lies in the past. I know now what my purpose is. And what is that, big guy? And I never call anybody big guy, but I like you. Are you gonna not talk anymore? It is the journey itself that draws us. That's facts. It's never about the destination, it's the journey, right? Give your life to the pursuit of one thing, and your hard work will be rewarded. True, true, thanks. I'm just talking so he'll shut up, you know? Just gotta pretend I'm interested. This guy cannot stop talking on rides. He's basically like a backseat passenger, but just annoying me. This place is the Seif. Pass through, and you shall find all your imagined woes have been left behind. But know this. What? The ghosts that give chase through the gray will never leave your side. They won't? No matter how far you go. Imagine I see a ghost on my right and left. Oh, that would be so freaking creepy. I don't even know where I am, dude. Imagine being in this actual environment and everywhere you look, left, right, up, down, is just nothing for miles and miles and miles. It's gonna feel endless. When we first came through, 
as if dragged from a rope. So we asked them, Do you wish to leave? I do. I intend to stay. What do you mean? I thought I was just a dog sled musher. Oh, my mother! Have I told you what became of that deathless deer? You have not. Why do you look at me like that, dude? My expedition was slipping through my fingers. We were being humiliated by the conditions, and all efforts to chart a course were fruitless. Yet somehow, these stupid creatures were able to not just survive, but thrive. I actually thought there was going to be a jump scare there. I don't know why that image of that guy's face is just like into my soul right now. It's giving me the creeps. It's not quite giving me the chills, but it's giving me the creeps. But here we go. Have we been sledding all night or does it keep flip-flopping between day and night cycles? That's my question. That's the only thing that I want to know, mister. Sir? Are you awake? Oh, shoot. Huh? What the heck? Oh! Sir? Oh shit, the cargo is not here. Hold on, dogs. Let me get out. Bro? Oh fuck. Hold on. Oh! I was just trying to pet the dog. You want to know what I think? What's that? I think you've gotten us lost, Musher. Yeah. I uh, left my phone back in the other cabin. I want to apologize for that. But everybody's being such a good dog. Everybody's being a real good, good dog. Especially you. Look at those blue eyes. Yeah, you too, you too. Love those baby browns. And you have blue eyes too. And you know what? You get an extra pet. Just cause. Okay, yeah, I did get us a little lost in the sauce. But you're the one drinking on the job. So get your ass back on here. And let's just keep going this way, I guess. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep going forward, everybody. And we'll figure it out. Sometimes you just need to get lost a little bit to get back on track again. I think that was a quote from somebody in the world that became successful, hopefully. Because I have no idea where the hell I am right now. This shit is- oh! I don't like these little jumps. Lost? Yeah, you think? I've been going straight for the last nine hours, bud. Why don't you give me some opinions? Instead of just making me feel like a piece of shit. That's another deer. Okay. I think he's mad that I killed his brother. But yeah, I am lost. Just a little bit. Should I stop? And maybe let this guy talk to me for a little bit? Because nothing's really happening. Let me stop real quick. Let me see if he says anything. Talk to me. Tell me something. Love me. Kiss me. Nothing? Okay. Never mind. Let's just get back on. Oh! I'm so... You're taking us in circles. I know. It's not my fault, though. I promise, it's the dogs. I blame all four of them. Where could it be headed? You want me to follow the deer? Oh, so I was right. We were eager to study these animals. Interesting. To learn how they could thrive in such an unforgiving place. Okay. We withheld one from its herd. Oh, shit. Hello. Hi, how are ya? Five of us in tow of the deer, though we were not content in simply being led across. How did it know where to go? How did it chart its course? What's up, Raiden? How you doing, good boy? Being a good boy? Hold on, my dog's barking. So, we cut off its ears. Another proposed it could see the slightest indentations in the snow. And we took out its eyes. Jesus. Yet we emerged on the other side, and the creature was reunited with its herd. See? We persevere. Yeah, we do. We do persevere. If you ever come to doubt your decision to come here, think about where you were when I found you. What your life was. Bro, I was watching Netflix and eating pizza. Here, your life will mean something. I have brought you here for a specific purpose. So listen closely. What? What? Oh shit! Whoa! 
Go, 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 go. Dogs, go! Uh-oh. This is like some Lion King stampede shit. Go. I'm not looking to die today. Me neither. Can you please focus? Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're dead. We're dead! Oh, shit. Sorry. That was my bad. Okay, let me really focus everybody. Because the controls are actually a little bit more complicated than I thought. So, I have to balance myself as well as making sure the dogs keep going forward. And these group of deer, or whatever they actually are, are not making it easy on me. It's actually making me kind of nervous. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep going. I know, you're not looking at that today! Look forward, you son of a bitch! Let's go! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, we're gonna die today. I've made it further than I've ever made it before. I'm happy about that. I really am. Faster! I'm trying, man! Stop making me feel like that! I'm going as fast as I can. Holy shit, they're right on my ass. Okay, I don't even know why I said it like that. I said they're right on my ass. My ass, dude. They're right on my ass. I'm not looking... Can you stop, NPC? Bro, just repeating his dialogue. All right. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is a crazy-ass mountain. Of course we run into this mountain right here, right? Faster! Shut up, bitch! Let's go, let's go. Do keep looking at me. Oh, shoot. Whoa! Good riddance. Wait, did they die? Oh, shit, wait. <gasps> no! Hold on. Hold on. Did they die? Oh, they all fell down the mountain. Don't you think that we should say some words? I think we should say some kind words. Don't you think, Doc Ock? I can't believe they died. That actually sucks. But this guy is already rubbing me off the wrong way. First, he kept telling me to go faster. And then he said good riddance when all those deer just died. And I'm pretty sure that we go here, right? Oh. Uh oh. Why is the door slightly ajar? Guy? Doctor? I don't know if you're a doctor, but I'm just gonna call you doctor. You give me doctor vibes. He's probably in here, huh? Already just chilling? No, he's not. What is that? For the outsider. The one who was being led. We see you too. What does that mean, though? You see me too. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. I was nervous to turn around. I don't know why. Let me read this note. When the place chooses to give directions, we have no choice but to follow. I think from what I'm getting from this game is that the area that they're in is actually alive. And it's leading them to some place. Right? Is that what I'm getting from here? Entrance to the Eastern Site. March 18th, 1892. 1892? Goddamn! I am not sure what purpose my writing could serve, but I still find value in it. Perhaps it is just for my own sanity. Writing helps me recall, helps me separate my own thoughts and memories from theirs. This is after all what I am paid to do. We have all settled into our roles rather well, albeit with one glaring exception. His accounts of the North made great impact on me in my youth. So strong was the allure of the sections of the world map still uncharted that I found myself standing in port with all my belongings wrapped in cloth. I have always considered myself a careful, logical person, yet there I was willing to put everything on the line to be given the chance to return with an account of my own. The crew there assembled was a curious sight. Misplaced among five hardened expeditionists stood I, a failed writer, along with two artists, and of course the ill-fated young botanist. All handpicked by our great leader, a man whose name once carried some renown in certain circles. What the hell is that? Yo, that looked like a fat-ass poopoo sprinkle on one of the pages. In his eyes, I saw that same light which shone so fiercely in the horizon, leading us to the first sight. I recall that my heart sank, for I knew that light would only ever lead us further into the gray. It looked like somebody took a fat shit on that page. Somebody here? Oh. Okay, nobody's here. Is that another note? That is just wood. I wish you would. I want to take that axe. Can I go out here? Yo, where is that man? Where is my scientist friend? Bud? 
Do we just go? We don't just. <gasps> what? Oh! You better start paying attention. Sorry, I guess I sleepwalked through this whole thing. We are not safe here. Okay, let me get my gun out. Look at that. Point that somewhere else. What if I shoot him? Oh, shit. I was just kidding. <laughs> he was just a joke. Okay, I thought he was smiling at me like I'm next. Doesn't that kind of look like a smile? Okay, can we go in here? We can go in here. There's no one here. I know no one's there. We have no choice but to go further. Is there anything that the deer's holding? No? Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Let me pet the good doggies. There you go. Perfect. Alright, let's do it. Let's keep doing what we do. Get that up, and... You want me to go this way? I have no idea which way I'm going, but I'm just going forward. Keep moving forward is the slogan. Look, bring us to that signpost. Okay, okay, okay. Whatever you say, buddy. I'll put this down, because I'm an expert now. Kinda. I mean, I am kind of far away from the signpost, but... I'm still getting used to this. Why'd you take out your gun? Wow! Ah! What the heck, man? This way. Okay, thanks. Thank you for killing those deers for me. Do not worry. Where's this way again? I need you to show me. Here we are all bound to its grip. Which way? Okay, just keep going forward like that. You got it, buddy. My body is unable to move. My memory is no longer my own. This dude's talking like the land that we are riding through is controlling him. Or it has some kind of like its own energy that's making people act the way it is. Because the deer are moving differently in this area. And maybe he means that we will too. Is that why we keep having like these flip flopping um, experiences? Or it like shifts from day to night cycles because maybe we're like losing our minds? I don't know. I'm trying to figure this all out. Or maybe it's one of those stories that go in different chapters. But I was able to reach you. And be your guide. Why the fuck are you smiling at me like that? Now we are much the same. You look so goddamn evil, bro. Hold on, there's another signpost. We should examine that signpost. You didn't even see it. How did you even know it was there? This man's a freaking wizard, Harry. Oh, shoot. I was actually kind of excited to examine the signpost. But now I'm just shaking in my booty shorts. You spent your whole life here. How do you know that? Just you and your dogs. An outsider. I know what that's like. Okay. When we arrived, we were outsiders to this place. A cause of imbalance. But it took a liking to us. Yeah, but it took a liking to us. So something is definitely alive in this area. Like, there are not horny milfs in this area. But there's probably gonna be, like, some kind of spirit. As long as I am needed. I am unable to leave. Okay. <gasps> now, gone is the fear and the doubt. How come I can't access my lantern? Hold on, wait for me. I didn't even read what that said. I'm sorry, everybody. Guy? Please. I can barely move. My knees are so cold right now. I need like at least 10 minutes to warm these things up. My task is reduced to something so simple. To follow. I'm the one who's following right now. You're leading me. And what is the point of that big ass fireball that keeps just like presenting itself to us? It's like we're looking into some kind of eye. Some kind of like demonic eye. And it's really tripping me out, bro. Oh no. Not this face again. In viewing the events that led up to this moment, understand that I have been asked to play the part of the opposer. Standing not in the way, but alongside it. Who, by ingesting poison, let rot set in and replaced old flesh with new? Do I really have to take that? Where's the option to pull out my gun? I don't want to take what this guy's handing me. To you, I was a hand in the dark. I see that hand in the dark, and you better put that knife down or else. A stranger stood waiting in a forest. Yo, where did you hire me at? Who is this man? I took you in trod the path you followed so effortlessly. Now, just as I brought you here, you will bring me out. Yo, what? What does that mean? 
Hold on. I'll do anything you want. Just calm down with that knife, all right? That thing looks mighty sharp. And they know what they're doing when they fade to black with that face because it looks like a skeleton. I like that. Oh, wait. Where am I? Huh? What is... What is happening? Wait, do I have shrooms all over my body? What the... F <gasps> Whoa! What is going on? Bro, am I taking shrooms? I am. Oh, this is trippy. Somebody's gonna be in front of me, huh? Whoa. Okay. Oh! Hey! Wait. Hold on. What are we doing here? What is that? Recall that on the outskirts of the borders of this place sit a small village dug in among the pines. Doctor? Where are you? In my memory, I spoke to a young man there, convinced him to abandon his life and live like I did. He should be close now. I guide him as well as I can and hope you will do your part. You, who recalls everything, remember this also. I brought them here. I am the one who should be allowed to leave. Yo, where do I? Where do I go? <gasps> oh, crap. Yo, what is happening right now? Get me out of here. What in the world, guys? And girls? Can't forget about my girls. What did this guy do to us? I already knew that he wasn't going to be a good guy. But where did he take me? Okay, so we just took some shrooms. It did give us life. But I don't know how much longer we are going to have this life. Because apparently, I think that he led us somewhere where other people are going to find us. We have to be like some kind of sacrifice. That's what I'm getting from this. Or maybe just like an offering. Well, an offering is a sacrifice, right? I don't know what I'm talking about. I just want to get my dogs and go home, please. Please. Poor Fivor, I just want to go back to my life. My regular ass, run-of-the-mill mundane life. Wait. Hold on. I think I see sled tracks. I'm not a detective, but I think I might be able to follow these and get back to my dogs. And then I am going to pet the fook out of them. Okay, hold on, everybody. Hold on. Let's just keep following these tracks. This is spooky. I like this game for some reason. Sense, it makes none. But for some reason, I'm having a good time trying to, like, unlayer this thing. I'm just trying to, like, piece everything together. Like a puzzle that I am going to be too lazy to figure out. But the sled tracks keep going this way. No, wait! Oh, okay. It's just a deer. I mean, I'm so sorry. Rest in peace, but I was hoping that it wasn't going to be the dogs. This dude shot every one of these things. God damn. What is that? That is the shroom. Okay. I guess I need to get my superpower. Yeah, buddy. About to be Spider-Man in a second. Oh! I was just kidding. I'm not Spider-Man. I'm just I'm just an asshole. Oh. What? Hey! Come here! Aw, oh, freaking ghost sled! Okay. I guess I have to follow the tracks. The ghost tracks. Or did I just see something that already happened? Oh, here we go. Alright. Hey. Oh shoot, I keep burping. I'm so sorry, everybody. That is so unprofessional, but no 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 no. Give me my superpower, baby. I want that superhuman strength. Yeah! Alright. I'm running with my deers. I don't even know what those are. Those are reindeers, right? They gotta be. Or do they call them, like, bucks? I'm gonna call them bucks. That sounds cool. Shout out to all my bucks out there. Wait. Oh. There you go. Just keep picking up these shrooms. Alright, don't eat wild mushrooms that you find out in the wild, everybody. Do not follow in this person's footsteps. Because, yeah, you're not supposed to be doing all that. Well, let me follow this ghost dog sledder. Oh, the dog sled's right there. Oh, no. Shit, none of the dogs are here. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. The dog tracks go in different directions. What is that? Why am I getting some kind of symbol? 
Is it dumbass proof? I think that means like, hey, idiot, this way. <gasps> I hear it. Oh no. It's one of the dogs. It's my dogs. Hold on, wait. What is that? What is that? Oh sh- <gasps> Oh! Dog! Oh! Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Oh shit, okay, we got the homie. Oh, we need to find all the dogs. All right, so we found one. I'm so happy that we can find the dogs. Oh, okay. I think one of the dogs is gonna lead me to one of the other dogs, right? Is that what that is? Okay, lead the way, lead the way, girl. You tell me where to go. Hold on, wait, this way, this way. Yeah, right over here, somewhere. Oh, I'm so happy we can rescue these dogs. Yes, there you are. Hello, dog. Right next to the mushrooms, too. All right. Can I grab these? Oh, wait, let me pet you. There you go. Who's your good girl? What's up with this cabin, though? Hold on. Can I grab you? Can we go inside here? <gasps> oh, shoot. Hold on. Can I go in here? I can. Okay. I wish we could bring the dogs in so they could be warm. That would actually... Make a lot of sense. What the fuck? Whoa. Is that a real person? Oh, crap. Okay. Hold on. Let's read this. Curious that the task of mapping this place befell the botanist, who prior to this excursion had barely left the confines of his hometown. His drawings mean to resemble cartography. Surely, whorls and tendrils are still on his mind. The borders swirl, stretching out across the impossible sea ice, connecting each grove in a wretched web. Every day he tries to perfect his distillations, hoping to be given insight into some great truth. I am patient. I will continue to review his work. Oh man. This is really unnerving. What is that? Everything is kept safe from the noise of time. I'm half expecting to see a face in the window. I don't know why. So they're experimenting with the mushrooms. I'll take that. I'll take that. Northern Sight Variant A. Please do not wake up. I do not want that with all my soul. What's in there? Oh. Okay. I have so much time to think without arriving any closer to the truth. None of us are fully lost. We are still here. Content with reliving the past through its eyes. It has shown me answers to questions long forgotten. I no longer recall how to ask my own. He wishes to bring it out. To let it do there what it has done here. I don't know whether to stop him or help him. Let him rot in his cave. I prepare for one final journey and pray it leads me elsewhere or nowhere at all. Not here. What? How do we know to follow it? After days lost in mist, the ice blink led us here. Empty. Okay. Is that it? That's all, folks. Okay. I guess we're getting out of here. Man, there's something really creepy about this game. There's not, like, any jump scares or anything, which is awesome. But it just gives you the chills. And not because we're in a super cold setting, either. But I need to find the other two dogs. Oh, fuck! Hold on. Hey! There's somebody out here shooting at me in the freaking mist. Dude's a sniper. Hi. How you doing, cutie? Okay, one more dog. One more dog. Got you, got you, got you. Over here, right? Somewhere over yonder. Lead me. Lead me, pedos. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, wait. We're almost there. Okay, we almost have all four. And then I think we have to go back and get the sled that we saw. Where's that dog? Shit! Over here! This way, dogs! Yes! There you are! 
All right. So, yeah, buddy. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Do I follow these deers? Just like earlier? Maybe that's what I do. Okay, because remember earlier in the game, the guy told us to follow the deers. And they seem like they're going in the same direction. So I think that's what I do. He did teach me one thing. He taught me to never offer rise to shady looking people. And he also told me to follow these reindeers. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And I'm so freaking happy that we found all four of these dogs. I really am. Wait. Oh, shoot. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Um, I was supposed to get hit like that. Great. Bitch. Wait, was I hallucinating? Yo. Asshole, it's... it's what? Fuck. Wait. Oh god. Let me eat more mushrooms. I'm so confused. Where's this bitch? Got him. Yeah. Like that? Okay, so he's gonna start spawning in different places. Got it. Got it. Where you at? Should I eat one more of these? Yeah? Oh. Gotcha. Dude, running like a little bitch. Where you at? Oh, fuck! This is like a final boss battle. All right, let's dance, baby. Where you at? Let me refill this thing. Got it. Okay. Focus, Jay. Focus, focus, focus. We can do this. I think. Fuck! Whoa! Yo, my eyes are peeled right now. Come on. Where are you? Fuck! I don't like that! Alright, come on. BITCH! WHAT?! HOW MANY HITS?! Got him. Oh! Get freaking wrecked! I will drink that. Looking like I'm drinking his piss. Good shit, huh? That drink took me to another planet. I'm not even on Earth no more. Wow. No wonder he was doing that to me. What? Wait. Is that him? Hold on. What? Oh, that's body bag season. Good dogs. Okay. So I guess we're just getting rid of the evidence. My bad. All right. Carry on. <laughs> so we did kill this guy. And we zipped him up in a body bag. And now we are just going to wherever we're going. I get it. I feel it. I respect it. This dude took us out of our comfort zone. And he took us on the weirdest ride of our lives. And this is what he gets. This is what happens when you mess with the wrong people. That's the moral of the story. What? His head uh, went that way because of gravity, right? That's all it is. If he turns his head at me, I'm done. I'm done. Don't you freaking dare. I'm just waiting for that head to turn. Like that look back at it moment. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think the body is decomposing right before our very eyes, everybody. And I kind of feel bad for the dogs again because it seems like they're not getting a break. From dusk till dawn, they're just moving their little four legs. It's cute and it's sad at the same time. Okay, angles. Got those cinematic angles. I see you. That which gave chase. So, that was the game, everybody. Wow. That was good. A game by 
Aslak Carlson Huglad. I messed that up and I apologize for that. Beautiful game, but I messed up that name. I apologize. So, yeah, um, that was very interesting. I keep doing this because I feel like I have a fat-ass booger in my nose, but... Yeah, that was a very interesting game. I need to, like, process it real quick. Like, I need to sit and think about it real quick. Then I'll give my thoughts. Look, I'm not gonna lie, everybody. I've been sitting on my ass cheeks and my balls for three minutes now, and I still have no idea what this game was about, but I want to understand it. Like, I feel like there was a deeper meaning to the mushrooms in the game because they were, like, a main focal point because they were sprinkled throughout the video, and then they were really in your face right there at the end. And I think that maybe they found something that they could take as, like, a drug, and then it... Um, ascends you into this higher level of thinking or something if you take it I don't know and then it maybe uh, it had like a different effect and that's why the guy wanted to kill you because maybe I have no idea honestly I have no idea that's why I need you all in the comments to let me know what you all are thinking because I know that the mushrooms are playing a big part in it but I feel like every time it switched from day to night night to day and the guy kept talking in this very, like, ambiguous tone. I don't know. I still don't know what to make of that. I really do feel like he hired you because he wanted to sacrifice you for something. Maybe it was for, like, the mushrooms. Maybe he was, like, taking the mushrooms and then maybe he thought that he felt like he needed to do it, if that makes sense. Like, he felt like he needed to sacrifice somebody. And then he hired this dog sled musher and took him all the way to the caves to try to sacrifice him but yeah please let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below i'd love to know what everybody thinks because i really feel like this community is really smart and you guys are really thoughtful and i really do like reading the comments i know i don't leave a heart on every single one but i do read the comments a lot like when i'm not doing anything at all like when i'm just outside like in the world i'll check the comments of the most recent video and i like seeing what you all have to say especially when i play these story games because you all have some really cool theories so i'm looking forward to that but hopefully you all enjoyed me playing this game i actually did enjoy playing through it myself if you want to see me play more story based games make sure you give this video one big fat like and tell a friend today that jay from the cub scouts is that dude